my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, أَلَا وَإِنَّ فِي الْجَسَدِ لَمُبْغَةِ إِذَا صَلَحَتْ صَلَحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ أَلَا وَهِيَ الْقَلْبُ Behold, in the body there is a piece of flesh. If it is good and pure, the whole body will be good and pure. And if it is dirty and filthy or filled with disease, the whole body will be dirty, filthy, and filled with disease. My brothers and sisters, we work very hard to improve our salah. We work very hard to improve the tilawa of the Qur'an, and we should be working. We work very hard to give our zakah, to earn and to donate in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We work very hard to try and improve our dress, which is very important. We work extremely hard to try and prevent ourselves from adultery, from that which will displease Allah, from that which is intoxicating, and so many other outward sins. But there is something that sometimes we take for granted, and those are the internal sins, the sins of the heart. The sins of the heart primarily include when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed it is the hidden sin that is within a person that no one can notice and no one can see. But there are sins that are committed against one another that happen to be within the heart, primarily that of jealousy, that of pride, that of the feeling that one is greater than everyone else or than someone else. These are diseases that stem from shaitan. If you see the original sin committed by shaitan, it was that of jealousy, pride, and haughtiness. When Adam alayhi salam was raised in status, he asked the question, why him, why not me? Thereafter, he denied the virtue that Allah blessed Adam alayhi salam with and he started working against him due to the jealousy. Number one, he disobeyed Allah's command. Number two, he began to make it his business to ensure the downfall of Adam alayhi salam. And this was the job he occupied himself with so much so that after that he did not obey Allah in anything. May Allah protect us. So a very small interesting factor, myself as well as all of us, we need to make sure that we become more conscious of the condition of our hearts. We should love others. We should love what Allah has given them. We, sh we can ask Allah to bless us as well, but never by taking what Allah gave them away. We should also have something known as husnul dhan, which people are lacking today. Our ulama used to speak about having a good feeling when you see something happening. When you see someone, for example, walking, you should think good of that person when they have said something. And there are 10 ways of interpreting what they have said. You and I need to interpret it in the best possible way. And his or her hisab will be with Allah. If they were trying to cheat you or cheat anyone else, it's between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So to have a good feeling in the heart will purify the heart. This is why the hadith says that piece of flesh, if it is good and pure, the entire body will be good and pure. You will enjoy your salah. You will enjoy giving what you have given in charity. I'm not giving it for everyone to look at me and say, what a rich person, how much he has given, and so on. If they say it on their own without me having tried to impress them, that is something that's unavoidable sometimes. But if I was trying to impress them, then I've lost it. I need to impress Allah. May Allah make it easy for all of us. May Allah make it easy for us to purify the heart, to instill love in the ummah. Today, there are so many challenges we are facing. We need to close 1,000 different loopholes. At least this is one important one that we can work on so that Allah can grant us taraqqi and goodness so that when we speak, when we interact with people, automatically this high level of interaction with Allah and connection with Allah can be felt 
just by talking. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness and protect us from the ills of the dunya. For indeed, there are so many and they are plentiful. Our children, our grandchildren, may Allah keep them steadfast on the deen and the generations to come. My beloved brothers and sisters, eliminating the hidden sins of the heart begins with self-awareness and sincere intention to purify one's soul for the sake of Allah. Sins like envy, pride, arrogance and hatred are often concealed deep within the heart and they can be more destructive than outward sins because they affect a person's inner state and relationship with Allah. The first step is addressing these sins is to constantly reflect on one's thoughts and intentions, engaging in regular self-assessment known as muhasaba, helps a Muslim identify harmful emotions and traits lurking in the heart. It is essential to ask Allah for guidance and actively seek forgiveness through sincere repentance, acknowledging the flaws and striving to change. The second crucial step is to cultivate humility and remembrance of Allah. One of the root causes of hidden sins of the heart is forgetting the greatness of Allah and focusing too much on oneself. By increasing acts of worship such as prayer, zikr and reading the Quran, a Muslim reminded of their dependence on Allah's mercy and guidance. These practices help often the heart and keep negative emotions like pride and envy in check. Humility fosters love and compassion for others, leaving little room for the growth of harmful traits like arrogance or grudges. Lastly, surrounding oneself with positive influences and seeking knowledge is key to eliminating these hidden sins. Good company can have a transformative effect on the heart by being around those who constantly remind you of Allah, you are less likely to fall into the traps of jealousy of, or pride. Likewise, increasing Islamic knowledge through attending lectures, reading or discussions helps a person recognize and combat these internal struggles more effectively. It also encourages self-improvement and helps one maintain focus on the ultimate goal of pleasing Allah and earning his paradise. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.